Hey, I'm tired of introducing myself as your guide of light to help you through the night, because I'm just a light in the fucking darkness. <laughs> Having realizations every day. Things I've learned in the past, things that are being brought to me now, things that help me look towards the future and go, if we keep going this direction, then ba-boom. But anyways, I came on here because I was sitting down, trying not to stress, and I thought, you know, I never even saw them as people. I, I never even saw them as anyone that cared for me. I thought they had to care for me. I never saw them as anyone that loved me because they had to. I didn't see them as giving me anything, not because they couldn't afford it, because I thought they were selfish. Um, I'm sorry. To my mom and dad. Because it took me getting in your shoes to take the time to realize you tried. <laughs> and looking at all of the things going on right now, I avoid media for a reason. I avoid even social media because of the things that are going on. But for whatever reason, things are coming to my attention about what people are doing with their children, um, Hollywood elites, how they're using their children to lead a... Um, Gender dysmorphia epidemic is kind of what it's being known as. You know, confusing the children of who they're supposed to be. And seeing how all of this is fuel to basically continue to attack women in a covert sort of way. You know, it's, it's like I said, becoming more and more in my face. I can't ignore it. And that made me think about my parents and how they took us to church to try to teach us certain values. And I basically spit in their face. I mean, I remember going to church one time, reeking of booze, wearing Daisy Dukes in a crop top, like, you ain't going to keep telling me what to do. I have a job. I pay my own, own car note. I'm a big girl, you know, and never even realizing what I was choosing. And it's really hard knowing that that outright rebellion, thinking they were stupid, thinking they were lame, that I was never going to be like that. And like I said, all I can tell them is I'm sorry. And hopefully you can realize too that your parents were going through something. You know, I know many people that were abused, very, very abused growing up. And they have a hatred in their heart for their parents. And it's really hard because they can't sympathize. And at no point am I saying to sympathize, but at least sit back and try to understand that some battles are too hard for some people to fight. That's why not everybody becomes a soldier. That's why not everybody commits themselves to protecting and saving everyone else, you know? And at some point we have to respect that the people that were trying to act so strong and so brave were actually the weakest at the time. And my parents never put on that front of being so strong and so brave. They did try to show all of us girls that um, hard work will get you somewhere. Being honest is a very big virtue because you can go through life and it's the same lesson I teach my kids probably because it was taught to me. Once you lie, you lose that trust. When you lose that trust, you're basically on your own. You know that no one's going to come to your aid when you start crying wolf. You know, someone's out to get me. I'm trying so hard and I can't do. Because if you are a lazy individual and you've lied about it and the truth comes to light, people will begin to see the reality. 
and it that's just one example you know it's a big spectrum all around of how you can lie you can lie to others you can lie to yourself you can lie to your kids it you can mislead the entire existence of who you are by lying to yourself and like I said I never saw them for the hard workers they were what they sacrificed what they tried to teach and now that I'm going through it with my own children I can see what was going on in their minds the prayers they prayed the sacrifices they made and I won't lie it's not for the faint of heart to keep trying and eventually when you have to give up it breaks your heart when you have to say you know what I've got to let you choose I've got to not destroy my relationship with you and stand back with unconditional love and allow you to make choices that I know are going to destroy you. That's the hardest part of parenting. Letting them learn. When you tried to teach them, not knowing how the world was going to be, not knowing what they were going to push, what kind of agenda was going to be created to um, lead them to slaughter. You know, it just reminds me of the Pied Piper <laughs> blowing the whistle and the rats come. And then when the payment wasn't made, they're thrown back. So, nasty little game, huh? Demonic forces everywhere, leading people astray. Couldn't get all of them, so start affecting the minds of the young. And then the battle's over, because now you're leading the world in the direction with brainwashed individuals who were never educated to even love and accept themselves. And that's a dangerous world to live in when there is no love and acceptance of oneself because now you've become a victim to a predator. I lived that life. It's a dark, lonely, scary life. So. Remember to forgive your parents. Tell them you love them if you have the chance. Embrace your children while you've got the moments. Because no telling the lessons they're going to learn when they're in your shoes. Peace out.